Hey y'all, my name is Bethany or Budget Bethany and welcome back to my kitchen for another week's worth of What's for Dinners. This week's What's for Dinner is going to be in collaboration with Adrienne from Blessings from the Bard. So after you get through watching my video, head on over to her channel and watch her video as well. I will have her channel and her video linked down below in the description box. Alright y'all, tonight we're going to be having some fried chicken. I've got it right here soaking in buttermilk with some seasoning. Then we're going to have some cabbage and I just cut up, it was a small cabbage and I cut up some bacon end pieces in there. Probably going to add some salt and pepper and garlic powder and that's it for the cabbage. Um, just bring it to a bowl, let it boil for a while until it softens up. And then I've got some potatoes right here. I'm going to wash them and peel them and dice them up and we're going to make mashed potatoes with them. And I'm not sure if we're going to have gravy with them or just plain mashed potatoes right now, but I know we're going to have some fried chicken and I'm fixing to start frying that. And then... For my mashed potatoes, I just um, washed off my potatoes and peeled off the skin and then diced them up into cubes and boiled them until they were soft. Now I'm just adding some butter and some salt and pepper and I like to add milk until I get it to the consistency that I like it to be. So I don't really measure, I just pour in there until I get it how I want it. But that's how I make my mashed potatoes. Here's our plate. Once everything was done, we got our fried chicken, we got our cabbage, our mashed potatoes, and I just cooked a box of macaroni and sliced up some tomato. Alright y'all, tonight I'm making hamburgers and I'm going to grill them on a the grill. So I've got my ground beef right here. I've got about two pounds. And then I'm going to be adding all of this stuff and probably a slice of bread just to keep my meat together. And then I'm going to mix all this together. If y'all hear kids back there, they're playing y'all. Anyway, I'm going to these ingredients into my ground beef and mix it all up really well and pat it out into patties. This is my favorite kind of sauce. It's called tiger sauce. I'm not sure if you can find it everywhere, but if I can find a link, I will link one down below in the description box for y'all. And right here, I'm just adding two pieces of white bread and I just damped them a little bit with some water and then I just crumbled them into my meat mixture. So now it's time to pat them out. I'm just going to pat them out into hamburger shapes and then we're going to put them on the grill. For the longest time I have put off grilling because I just thought that I couldn't do it. But I grilled these hamburgers all by myself without my husband's help. But then once he came home, he grilled up the hot dogs because y'all, I was so over it at this point. Um, if you can grill really good, then you are the best because grilling is really, really hard. To me, I'd rather do all my cooking in the kitchen. And right here is my little sidekick. She's with me everywhere I go. Here's our plate. Once it was all plated up, I just fried some um, potato wedges and we have some bread and butter pickles on the side. Here's my burger. I've got it loaded down with all kind of goodness. And then I got one grilled little hot dog right there. And then on the next night, it was just me and the hubby man because the kiddos were gone. The hubby man is what Shauna always calls her husband, so she's got me saying that. But I just cooked this um, popcorn chicken in the oven and fried up some potato wedges that we had from the night before. And he wanted some corn on the cob, so I bought him a piece of corn on the cob or an ear of corn on the cob. And he's just got some mayonnaise and some tahini seasoning on his corn and that was dinner for this night y'all all right so i'm getting ready to start supper and we're gonna have some pork chop these are the seasonings i'm fixing to season them up with then we're gonna have a can of green beans with some of these real bacon pieces in it and some chicken flavored rice sides and that's gonna be dinner for tonight all right y'all so obviously right here i'm just seasoning up my pork chops <music> I 
just open my can of green beans and dump them into this pot and then I'm adding some of these real bacon pieces and I'll add a little bit of Italian seasoning, dressing seasoning mix. It's right here, I'll show it to you in just a minute. I always add this to my green beans. I'm mixing some honey barbecue sauce and the tiger sauce together to make my sauce to put on my pork chop. Alrighty, so I'm rubbing my barbecue sauce and the tiger sauce mixture that I mixed together onto my pork chops and I've got Jackson filming so he does not have a steady hand so bear with him y'all. Alright y'all, so here it is once it's all plated up and those pork chops turned out fabulous. I can't believe that I ever thought that I couldn't do it because they turned out perfect and those green beans were perfect also so if you never try green beans that way i highly suggest you try them like i showed y'all um that's all i got for y'all this week i hope y'all enjoyed this week's what's for dinner if you did please don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already also don't forget to go check out adrian's channel and watch her what's for dinner video thank y'all for watching and i'll see y'all in the next one bye y'all